Hey guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back. Um, so today I have a little freebie for you, um, especially for you guys that wanted the mini book printables. Um, there's only five upload spots um, at Etsy, so that kind of narrows down your your uh, options for uploading stuff. So I'm just going to put the freebie over at Flickr and then that way if you've bought the mini books printable then you'll have this whenever you need it. And if you didn't buy the mini book printable and you want it anyway, I mean, go for it. <laughs> okay, so what I was going to do today is put together one of the mini books and because everybody's paper might be a little bit different weight um, because you use a different paper stock or maybe you're going to use tea stain paper. You know, there's different things that kind of come up that might alter how thick it is on the inside. So I thought we'd just make one. And I have all these um, printed out and because I was taking pictures for the listings. So I thought we could put one, we could put one together. What, what, which one do I want to put together? I like the little journal. I love the little ledgers, but I kind of want to do the Shakespeare ones. I'm going to, I'm going to do that one just, just cause, just cause. Let me see if I, there it is. I'm going to do the, the Shakespeare's flowers. i to dig them all out here. Okay, so after you've cut off the border that goes all the way around the page, then we fold on the, grab a sample here, a little easier to see. So then there's going to be a line, a vertical line that goes um, between these two and then also one that goes between these two. These will get folded back. This one is, this one is a little hard to see. I'm running out of I'm running out of ink on my in my printer. So I fold the side back. And then I fold the side back. And there fold it folds like this. And then each side gets folded toward the front to those fold lines. And then these two fold lines in the middle get folded to meet each other. And there we go. Then we have a an accordion that matches the others. And now I have all of these folded and you can put them in order or not. I just suggest that the ones with the end papers go on the front and the back. But other than that, there are page numbers. So if that makes a difference to you like it does to me, um, you know, put them in order. Uh, there we go one and then this one. Okay, so now what we do is you get a glue stick because that glue that we used before, this stuff, so the stick flat or the yes paste, stuff's like, yeah, like I said, ain't nobody got time for that. So what we do is we flip this over and we take our glue stick. I always, I always try to take off this this end because this looks like it should be the lid. This looks like it should be the twisty. It's it's not. It's it's the complete opposite. So I'm just going to twist that up. These um, middle four sections get get the glue. Oh, see the glue stick? You see how easy and wonderful that is? <laughs> it's just like. Just like butter. And we do this to all four, or sorry, we do this to all six of the signatures. And you stick these two together and you stick those two. You basically just fold it back up into its accordion shape. 
and then it makes these two pages in in the middle like that. And then we just do them all and then we're gonna glue them together like we did on the other video. This glue is like the bomb diggity, I must say. It's a good brand of glue. I got it, um, well I've gotten it at Jerry's Artorama and also you can get it at Amazon. Pretty awesome. This part is kind of tedious, but not as tedious as it was with the other glue. Sorry, stick flat glue. Just don't have time for you or patience. No patience. I mean, look at that. Look at this, how easy that was. <laughs> it's the simple things that make my day. <laughs> I have to go to the tax accountant today, so I'm just, you know, trying to distract myself as much as possible. You know how I just love math and doing taxes, and so. So what am I doing instead of finishing my prep work? I am playing with you guys. <laughs> That's what I do. I have to adult today. I don't want to. Well, and the fact that it's literally negative two degrees outside right now is not, it's, it's not really a great, a great wonderful thing. I can't, I can't go out when it's really cold. And um, I, I just don't, my, my, body cannot maintain a safe body temperature. I know, how dumb is that, right? How, how dumb is that? It's dumb, believe me, it's dumb. So I'm literally just not supposed to subject myself to this kind of temperature, and um, but I have to today, so I'm going to have to get warm, like, because my feet are cold right now. They are probably blue. Well, purple, they're kind of a purple, they get a purpley color. And, ugh, the cat, I'll tell you about the cat in a minute. Um, so I have to get like really, really warm and get bundled up. And my car is in the garage, which is, you know, that's a great thing. Um, but get in the car and stay in the car as much as possible. And then when I get to the accountant's office, try not to dilly dally because the car cools off, you know. And then it's cold when you get in, and so I just have to be fast. So now what we're gonna do, is that dumb? That's so dumb, right? <laughs> um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each, each of the signatures and we're gonna glue like we did in the other video, um, the, the flap to flap thing from the front to the back. So the last flap on the front signature to the front flap of the next one and then the next one you just go all the way through and and finish our accordion okay so the cat she has taken to um sleeping on my pillow and when a 16 pound cat decides to um sleep on your pillow there's not a whole lot of real estate left for a normal size human head. So I'm, I'm uh, fighting with the cat over the, the pillow it, all night long. This, something's gotta change. This isn't gonna, this can't, this can't happen forever. This is just not gonna happen, man. So I'll let you know how, how the, fight with the cat goes. I don't think she knows we're having a fight though. She's oblivious to it all. She just wants what she wants because she's a cat. So here I just keep sticking these together. Oh and I got my counters installed yesterday in the kitchen. So as soon as I finish up putting the kitchen back together I will show you. 
and maybe we'll make something fun. Uh, my husband's work is having um, a pie contest for Pi Day, you know, Pi Day, P-I Day, uh, which is March 14th. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to, I think I'm going to enter. My husband, my husband and I will enter as a team, which means I make the pie and he takes it in. <laughs> but it just sounded like fun, so I'm going to try and make the time and, uh, and make a pie. So maybe we will do that together and uh, we'll see if we win. We'll see if we win. And one more. Okay, here is the last of the signatures. And I just kind of stack them together like this and make sure that the spine edge is, you know, nice and even. And then just smoosh it all together. And it is so much better than the other glue. Exponentially so, except it falls over all the time. So it does not take too long to uh, dry to adhere, but we're gonna we're just gonna you know move along because I have to go to the accountant's office. <laughs> okay, so here is our little text block all made. There is the little spine edge in the back, and let's grab one of the covers I'll use. This little guy today. And we're just gonna put that in there like that, kind of center it, center it in there and shut that together. Um, if you want to put like a little strip of cloth in here, go for it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. So what I'm going to do, you can ink around the edges if you want. I'm not going to do that at this moment, but I'm just gonna kind of center it in on that spine area and I'm just going to lay down both edges like such and so forth and you'll see that there's a gap um, around the outside edge which is you know it's no big deal it's no biggie it's no biggie you just kind of want it centered in there on your little spine and then you lift up the one side and you wish you hadn't put the lid on the glue. And I'm just gonna put some glue here. You can use any kind of glue for, for this part too. And then we're gonna just set that back in there. And we're gonna lay that down and recenter it. What's one nice thing about this glue too is you have a minute to, you know, mess around with it. And then we lay it flat down again, right? Push that down and then fold it up. And here we go. Lay that flat down again and push that down just like that. So there is our little our little book all put together. Now, um, what the little extra the extra thing is for let me grab my scissors is do you see the white the white gap? Well, if you don't want to line the um, inside, which you totally can, um, you can do it with these. You can do these underneath or on top. However. However it is that you want to, you know, do what you do. So before you put your book together, if you want to put little extra liner, end page liners on um, the inside covers before you put the glue, the text block in, um, do that. Or you can do it this way. You can decide. And I made them bigger than they need to be. So I trimmed off the... Um, the inner, the inner uh, little green strip 
that lengthened or widened this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue this in here and then I can I can trim around the edge if I if I want to if it's sticking out. Does that make sense? So, let me just do that real quick. And I will show you. Try to make sure I got glue everywhere. Place that right in there. Right in there. And you know, depending too on how you trim your or cut out your covers, you know, maybe your trimmer wasn't, you know, perfect and accurate, or maybe you slipped or you know, wh whatever it is. Um, and you want to clear up the clean up the edges, you know. So, and you don't want to ink it. So this just has a tiny, tiny, tiny little sliver that sticks out, and that's it. And then that's what it looks like on the inside, and then you don't have the gap if you don't, if you don't want it. Does that make sense? Does that? So the little extra in pages. And like I said, if you want to line the edge before you even put it, put, you know, your pages in, you know, you can do that too. I just kind of like the way it looks over the top because then it really seals in all those edges. So that's what that is for. That's what the freebie is for. And so there are three different ones. This one is the scrolly scrolly one that goes with bump a dump a dump a dump. Uh -huh. Oh, here it is. The uh, Midsummer Night's Dream so that can be put over the top of that if you need it and then uh, for the ledger one this this one I just added some little extra tea stained uh, ones because I thought maybe you might want something like that for um, the floral one or the ledger one is that is that bueno? Does that sound good? And then and then your little books will will um, have a thicker cover for one, if you don't use a real heavy cardstock, and the insides are all cleaned up. And then if you wanted to take an ink pad, you know, and ink up your edges, you know, do it. Go go for it. I did not put any um, cheesecloth or ribbon or anything on the spine, inside the spine of this one. So you can see the, uh, I'm on camera. You see a little hollow space in there, which it allows it to lay flat. But I did put it on this one. So you can see, I just use a little piece of sari silk ribbon just in there, just a little tiny strip of it because it frays nicely and then it's got like a little binding you know sticking out so your pages um, I did not put this one um, like I didn't put something that would keep it flat and so just be aware that it may depending on your glue it may do this little warpy warpy thing which is easy to fix um, you just go ahead and you know stack this underneath something heavy not the spine part um, I would, I have like, I like have nothing over here. So you just put something heavy just on this part. Uh, it could be a book or something, just something to hold it flat um, so that uh, while it dries, then it stays flat, just like a, you know, like you would a, a book in a book press, right? So here it is. Um, one other thing, just an FYI, I'll take this one. So here is this one. And what you can do too is before you put your, you know, your pages in there, if you want to just carefully pinch the spine, you put a finger inside and kind of round the spine a little bit, it gives it a little bit more of an authentic book spine look. And because these pages aren't real heavy and that kind of thing, the round, the little bit of round that you put will will um, will stay. So it kind of makes it cute. 
because <sighs> it's cute. Just remember when you're putting in your text block to lay it flat like we did, lay it flat down and put your text block in there, lay the back page down and the front page down and try to get everything all nice and centered before you glue everything down. And then that way when you open your book you know it's going to open nice and wide because you glued it down when it was all the way open, right? So there we go. How's that? Is that, is that cool? Um, you can also, depending on the thickness of your paper, maybe the spine area here will be too wide or too narrow from what you think your, your text block is going to be. So, so it may take, you have to print out a couple and, and just work with them and see your kind of paper and how it's reacting to the width of your spine. So um, before you, you know, use your scoreboard and score your fold lines, maybe put your text block in there and kind of mark um, edge to edge on either edge of your spine. And then you can always put your, your, put your pages in there and if it looks like um, it's going to be too um, narrow, like you need to um, make the spine folds a little wider, well just put the, the cover back on your scoreboard and just score just, just barely to the either side of the score lines you made. Or if the spine is too wide and you don't think that it's gonna, everything's going to lay in there nice and flat, then you can score on the inside, just barely to the inside of those score lines that you had already made. So it's totally adaptable. You can, the spine's going to look cool one way or the other. Um, and especially if you round it like this, uh, it, you're not going to really be able to tell where it's folded anyway. If you happen to get any paper cracking, um, it's going to depend on the paper you use. Two, some paper will crack more than others and they'll crack through the, the ink. Um, this Hammer Mill digital color copy cover, cover color copy, whatever it is, um, description box. Um, this stuff is kind of resistant to cracking. I, I actually like put this on the scoreboard a few times and was scoring through and I just barely, 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 and you can even hardly see the little tiny crack there. So just, ooh, just a winky, winky bit. It's a real resilient paper, but you can always take a little pad with some ink on it and just rub it in there and, you know, cover that up. Oh, somebody asked what this was. This is a makeup sponge. Yeah, because I ran out of the little spongy sponges and guess what? These were like in my drawer. <laughs> so we're going to use these, right? We're going to use what we got. So anyway, there is a little, a little, you know, go through of one of the books, um, putting those together again. And if you have any questions or if you're having any issues with getting it in, just, just, you know, just holler at me, just yell at me and I'll, I'll help you fix your, fix your, your deal. Well, I'll try. I'll try to help you fix your deal. I, no guarantees on all the deals that you may have. So, you know, I'm not that kind of, of fixing person. Um, but yeah, I think they're super cute and I hope you really, really enjoy making these. I'm going to be doing some more. I have a plethora uh, on my list that I want to make. So I'll be making some more. I just think they're stinking adorable. And um, I will be putting up... Um, some that have to do more with maybe kids' books, too. I don't know. I just think they'd be really, really sweet to make a whole bunch and put them on a little miniature bookshelf. Maybe we'll make a bookshelf. You guys want to do that? So maybe we'll make a little baby bookshelf that we could fill our books. Okay. That is, that's got to happen. <laughs> that would be fairly easy, I think. I think we could do that with chipboard. You want to do that? <sighs> Scream louder. I can't hear you. Okay, we'll just do that. We'll, we'll, we'll have to do that because I think that would be really, really, really adorable. And then we can make all the books. Just shove them all in there. Because each of the kits comes with three different covers. So you, that's a lot of bang for your buck, right? Because there's like, 
Not that one. I don't think I put that one in yet. Don't look at that one. It's secret. Um, but yeah, it's got all these covers that you can you can fill up the books, and this isn't even all of them because I think there's nine. No, there's twelve because I put up I put up four kits, so there's twelve. So cool beans, right? Okay, guys, I have some more stuff I'm going to show you, but I got to go meet with the accountant, so I'll, I'll, I'll be back. And uh, I want to do a journal with me, so hopefully this afternoon. So if you see another video from me today, uh, yeah, it's just going to kind of pile them up. So um, thanks so much um, for this. Don't forget to go get your extra end papers at Flickr. It's down in the description box below this video. And um, if you don't know how to download a picture from Flickr, um, when you click on the picture that you want, it'll open it up into its own page. And it'll, it, the picture will be sitting there on a black background, a little window with just the picture in it. On the far bottom right of that little black window will be a little downward facing arrow. It's the very last arrow on the right. If you click on that, a box will open up and it'll ask you what size you want to download. Just choose original size because that gives you the full resolution biggest one. And as soon as you hit original size, a box will pop up that asks you to save it. So you can put it where you want to on your computer and save it. And then you can right click and print from there. Sound good? There's a little infographic um, on my Flickr page. I'll have to scroll down a little bit and it has like a screenshot and everything there just in case you don't know how to do that. All right, guys, I will see you soon in the next video. Have a great day. Bye, guys.